Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best and the most important uh, keyboard shortcuts for Sony Vegas. Because as you guys can see, uh, we all use a keyboard, that's obvious. Basically guys, I'm gonna run through all the keys that you can use in Sony Vegas just to, uh, in order to just to cut, to uh, play the video, to go back, to undo things. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the, the most important uh, keyboard uh, shortcut for Sony Vegas. So it's gonna be really awesome, really simple as well. So make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and let's see how many likes we can get because I'm just so stoked for this. So I would say, let's go, Dio. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we are in Sony Vegas and basically I'm, I'm just going to start off uh, with the shortcuts that I always use. I'll be making sure to place them like in the corner, uh, like, the like the keys that I'm going to press in that I use. So basically the first thing is play, which is for me the space bar. So as you guys can see, if I play this, if I press the space bar, the number will go up it will play back the video so this is the first shortcut like how to play obviously of course you can go ahead and edit and then go with your mouse onto the play space underneath the preview screen you can do that as well it is just so simple to just press your keyboard and then you are good to go so basically the first one is how to play it back which is called the space then the second one so also to in order to cut in sony vegas what you can do is of, of course you can like like right click and then you can just press uh, like cut right there and everyone is asking like Alex how are you cutting so fast look how fast he's cutting like what the hell you are a fucking robot guys it is really simple the only thing you need to do is click on to the, the place where you want to uh, cut it then what you want to do is you want to press S and the S stands for split. So as you guys can see, when I press S, I can just move this guy around because it is just loose and it is, and you can cut it, you can cut like as many times as you want. You can cut it right there, cut it like this, like that, like that, like this, like that. And then we have all separate pieces, as you guys clearly can see, it is that simple. So this is the second one, which is cutting things, uh, which is just S for me in my case. Then moving on to the next one is how to group certain layers let's say you have two of those and you want to move them all at once like let's say this one is this size and i'm going to copy this and i'm going to make this one that size and i'm going to also copy it again and make this guy this like this size this guy right here boom so as you guys can see we have all different layers and there's no way that you're going to move them all separately like this it's just, it's just going to be it's just way too much work what you want to do is you want to hold control you want to click on each clip what you want to do then is you want to press g so as you guys can see what, what if we play if we press g what happens is it is just grouped all those separate pieces as you guys can see right here all those separate ones this guy like for example they are all together in one group it is that simple like certain layers you can do this with audio video everything so that's how you group it so so I would say the first one is spacebar, like playback. The second one is cut in there. And then, and then the third one is just G, which groups clips. And I would say those are three most important keys that I always use. So moving on to the next one is, let's say if you are working on a certain track and you want to mute this, what you can do is obviously you can click on this little icon mute or you can press Z. That's in my case, muting first uh, track because if I also, let's say remove this track, this file is still here, but you don't see anything on the preview screen. And this one is also a little bit darker because this is muted as you guys can see. So you can press Z uh, to mute and unmute this track. It's not going to remove a track when you are going to render it, I think, I guess. So you just have to kind of find it. Um, and then obviously the other things uh, which are just pressing S. If you want to uh, render out a certain region, you can press Q. So now it's going to render out only what you, what you have selected. That's an awesome really thing when you press Q. Obviously the next key is you can change like what you can do if you press D. So you can go ahead and keep on, as you guys can see, the icon is still uh, changing. Let's say you can zoom into your uh, video track right here, or you can just change it and then it is just going to uh, do whatever the hell you want with it. This is how you zoom out. This is how you zoom in on certain tracks. As you guys can see, it is that simple. That's how it works. D, 
then other keys. Then the next key is uh, pressing L is going to just, you know, play it forward. Next keys, I would say W is always um, placing your marker at the beginning. The track, so let's say you are 1 minute 44 into the video and you want to see everything from the start. You just want to press W and then it's going to start back to the beginning. When you press um, C, you can just do commands and everything, nothing special about that. Then when you press B, there comes like a temporary master audio track popping up. So as you guys can see, the guy on the right is if I place this guy up, it's going to also place the guy up at the bottom. So that's the same thing. So that's, when, that's what happens when you press B. Then I would say when you press N, you can just place uh, like certain, I think like certain like keyframes or something. Press on N. And otherwise, I think you just, I think I had the entire keyboard. Of course, you can also use NumLock to go back and whatever the hell you can do. And you can also set it yourself. So those are the most important keys, guys. The most important keyboard shortcuts in Sony Vegas. So that's as simple as, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you just smash the like button down below for more Sony Vegas tutorials. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a comparison video where I'm going to compare Vegas Pro 13 with Vegas Pro. 14 so make sure to stay tuned for that thank you guys for liking and i will see you guys tomorrow that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom so thank you for the continued support if you want to see more content make sure to click right here that's it for today thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow